There are many confusing things about Blender and one of them is modifiers, especially modifier order. And there's a very specific order of modifiers that you need to follow, otherwise everything falls apart. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how it works, what it's all about, and I'm 100% sure this is going to help you tremendously, especially if you're new to Blender. Let's go. So first, what we're gonna do is we're going to grab a cube. So Shift A and let's grab a cube. And I'm gonna press Shift D to duplicate it. And we're gonna run a simple Boolean operation. Now for Booleans to run efficiently, you wanna install at least bool tool extensions. So go to preferences here, go to extensions, uh, extensions and go to bool tools and enable this extension here, okay, bool tool. This is going to help you run shortcuts like Control minus to perform Boolean operations. I'm not sure why is it not. Hang on a second, let me just go to preferences. I think they move. See, that's the thing about Blender now. It's so confusing. You enable bool tool uh, extension here under extensions, but when it's enabled, it's it goes under add-ons. It's completely ridiculous. So if you turn it off, which you should do, especially when you're using stuff like hard ups and box cutter, because there's going to be a conflict, you want to go back here and enable it. So anyway, just a, you know, a side tip. And by the way, if you're confused about all these settings, you know, how to set the UI, how to use all the menus, how the basic tools and everything works in Blender, I would really recommend you grab our course, the Hard Surface Accelerator, which is phenomenal. In just two weeks, you're going to literally master the whole workflow for hard surface modeling. If you don't believe me, go on our website. We have hundreds, if not thousands of testimonials right now. And these are obviously from real people. These are screenshots from Discord, YouTube, emails, you name it. And we have thousands upon thousands of students and they all love the course because it's just so good. The curriculum is very tight. It was designed based on feedback we received from all our students, which is now close to 140,000. That's a lot of students. And we know exactly how to present this knowledge, how to guide you through the basics of Blender, how to, you know, sort of help you to understand which menus you need, which tools you need, how they work, etc., etc. So this course is really in-depth. It's also touching. There's a whole bonus section on design and, you know, creating better blockouts, better details. There's also a section on rendering and editing your renders. So the whole process from understanding how Blender works all the way up to creating a final portfolio piece, you know, that's all in the course. So go ahead and grab it. And if you click on the link in the video description or on the link underneath the video in the pinned comment, you'll get a nice discount. So go ahead and enjoy. Now going back to our video, let's grab this cube and shift click on this one, control minus on the numpad which is going to create a Boolean. This is gonna be our first modifier on this cube, right? Now, once this is uh, running here, what we wanna do is we want to add a bevel, okay? So we're gonna add another modifier to this stack. So click here on modifiers, go to generate and go to bevel. Now, because it's a vanilla blender, it's not hard up so the box cutter, we need to perform a few additional steps. Uh, in order to fix this bevel because at the moment it's diabolical. So we need to first, we need to, uh, you know, increase number of segments. Usually when you run a small bevel, three are enough, and then right click and shade auto smooth to add this auto smooth modifier, currently it's called smooth by angle. And then you can see that the shading isn't still perfect. It's a bit wobbly. So we need to add one more modifier, which is gonna be called weighted normal modifier, which is gonna flex all the flat faces in between bevels and now we Gucci. Now this bevel modifier needs a one more adjustment. Let me just hide this cutter. You see that this uh, bevel here looks nasty. And the reason why in the concave area looks like this is because by default, don't ask me why, ask Blender devs, this miter outer is set to sharp where it should be arc and now everything is peachy. And by the way, if you were running this with hard ups, uh, all these settings are, you know, automatic. They just come with the with the add-on, so you don't have to think about any of these. Now, I'm gonna collapse these modifiers. And by the way, if you don't see this menu, there is not extension. This extension is called uh, Modifier Tools. Okay, this one. So if you uh, if you install this, what you can do, for example, you can toggle this entire stack here, which is really convenient. And I can see that we have a four modifiers: we got Boolean, Bevel, Weighted Normal, and Smooth by Angle. And now. 
the order of this mo of these modifiers is really important okay it's it's essential if i'm going to start moving for example weighted normal you know to the top you're going to get this rubbish it's really essential you understand that order of modifiers in modeling is paramount and you always need to think about this if you're not using add-ons like hard ups and box cutter because these add-ons gonna do this for you automatically but it's good to know how it works so you know let me show you let's say i'm gonna add another boolean here right and i'm gonna grab another cube and i'm gonna run this cube here and i'm gonna run another boolean so sh shift click this cube and control minus and you see now we start getting problems because first of all our shading goes to you know again it goes to rubbish and secondly we're losing the bevel why are we losing the bevel? The reason why we're losing the bevel is because the order of modifiers, order in which the operations are performed by a blender, matter. So we got first the boolean and then we got the bevel. So we got the cutout here on this side and then we got the bevel running on the cut. But then we got the weighted normal modifier, which is, you know, shouldn't be in here, and then we got the boolean modifier. Why is it happening? Because first of all, by default, this smooth by angle modifier is pinned. What you want to do, you want to unpin this rubbish, you want to move the weighted normal modifier all the way to the bottom, and then you want to move the boolean above the bevel, because you want to first boolean, then bevel, and then you're back in business. So the order of these modifiers is essential, and you can't just place them wherever you want, they need to be in specific places. Next is going to be mirror, which is also going to be very confusing, right? Let's say that I wanted to mirror, right, this top to the bottom, okay? So I'm going to go here and click on generate, and then we're going to go to mirror. And you see mirror by default is going to be added at the very bottom of the stack. And by default, it's going to be mirroring across the x-axis. And this is already a problem because you're like, what the hell is happening to my mesh? Why is it mirroring like this? Well, by default, the mirror is going to be, you know, mirroring here on this axis, right? On X. And by the way, mirror in Blender is atrocious, okay? It's, it's super confusing, especially when you're going to go into the bisect and flip options. I really recommend you get hard ups and box cutter as soon as possible because this thing is diabolical. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to mirror on Z axis, right? So instead of pressing uh, X, we want to clear that. We want to press Z. Now, obviously, this mirror is in the wrong position because it's at the bottom of a stack. You want this mirror to be above smooth by angle, but below the bevel. You want it to be in here, okay? That's the best place for mirror modifier, especially you don't want weight and almost to be above the uh, mirror. It could cause problems, okay? So this is a correct stack of modifiers. You're bullying first, you're bullying second, then you're beveling, and then you're mirroring. Unless you do not want one of these booleans be mirrored. But this is nothing. Let me show you what's going to happen when I'm going to move this mirror above this boolean, right? You're going to get this. Do you see what I mean? So you got to be really careful what you're doing with your modifiers. And if something doesn't work, it's a good chance that's the problem, okay? Now, let me show you how things work in hard ups and box cutter. I'm going to create a similar situation. It's really, really easy and way faster because hard ups and box cutter have this function built in. If you go to behavior, you see that they're going to sort automatically your modifiers, which is brilliant. So if I'm going to add a cube here, right, and I'm going to go to modifiers and look, watch this. If I'm going to add a bevel now, it's going to be adding bevel with three segments. Miter is set to arc and I'm going to get auto smooth by default. Boom. One click. Do you see that? One click, right? Don't worry about this menu, don't panic. Now I'm going to go to Q menu with hard ups, Alt, click on sharpen, which is gonna add a weighted normal modifier at the bottom of the stack. And now when I'm gonna be running Boolean with my box cutter, it's gonna be added in a correct place. And if I'm gonna add a mirror, again, it's gonna be running in a correct place. Let me just reset it to modifier, mirror, boom. And I got a mirror on the bevel but you know above weighted normal modifier so there you go that's how easy it is to work with these add-ons so with vanilla blender you will have to perform a few more actions but just you know be aware that you need to understand uh, that the order of modifiers is very very important and if you're gonna get this messed up there's a good chance that your model is gonna get messed up so remember to always you know kind of hold this uh, modifier stack here in order and if something is wrong with your mesh, check your modifier stack, there's a good chance that's the problem.
All right, well, that's it for the video. I hope it helps you out. And again, like I said in the beginning, if you're interested in studying hard surface modeling, then grab our course Hard Surface Accelerator because it's phenomenal. It's going to teach you everything you need to know and none of the fluff. And that's important because time is money and you want to learn as efficiently as possible. You don't want to go on YouTube and watch all these fragmented videos that oftentimes have conflicting information, which is problematic when you're studying because you don't know what's true and what's not true. So you want to get the basic basics down and once you get the basics down you know then you're going to move into more advanced things and that's what this course is going to give you like i said the link is in the video description go ahead and get it and i'll see you inside thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video